ACM stands for Associated Computing Machinery, and it's a good place to get started if you're looking for specific computer science topics. Something that's specific about ACM and maybe different from some other sources is that they have a lot of different types of material. So if you looked for um, a topic that you're interested in, let's just try artificial intelligence. You're going to find a lot of stuff on artificial intelligence. And you might want to narrow it down from there. Uh, looks like we're getting 179,000. That's a lot. What I'm seeing here is I've got options. Results is just kind of including everything, probably more books and articles. But I also have videos, software, and people. These are trying to pull back related elements connected to that topic of artificial intelligence. If I want to start limiting over on the left hand side, a place I'm going to go to is publications. If I wanted to do just books, I would do all publications and I could take a look at the ebooks that are related to artificial intelligence. I would recommend ebooks, especially if you are just wanting to get kind of an overview about the topic, maybe get some definitions or some historical perspectives. Books are great for that. If you want something really recent, you might want to go with proceedings or journal articles. Um, and those are tend to be a little bit quicker of a publication cycle. You can also sort by publication date. So you can see that the topic, the discussion about artificial intelligence and those publication dates really picked up in the last 10 years. And you could choose maybe the last two years the last five years to limit down your results if you wanted to just get some really recent research. Now artificial intelligence is something that you're going to find a lot on and if you want to get more specific I would recommend going to advanced search. ACM has some nice tips over on the right hand side here so if you forget what you're doing it's a nice way to um, return to that and remember. Um, so if we're going to continue down that thread that we were before of artificial intelligence, I'm just going to add that here. And then let's add in wearable technology in quotation marks. Artificial intelligence is going to possibly overpower this search because there's just more stuff about artificial intelligence and wearable technology right now is on an equal playing field because I'm saying I want both of these anywhere. So if I add a new row and move artificial intelligence down one, I'm going to keep wearable technology in quotation marks because I want those two words to be next to each other. Um, I could also say or wearable device and I'm going to change this from anywhere to just be the title. I could um, add keyword, affiliation, author um, in the abstract. Anywhere is going to look inside the title but I'm saying specifically I want it in the title. Selecting title when you're doing a search and looking for those keywords is going to mean it needs to be really related to the article itself because only do those words make it into the title when they're very closely connected. From down here, I'm going to change this from anywhere and just say I want it to show up in the abstract. Abstract again, once it's um, showing up in the abstract, it's got to be pretty relevant to the article itself. When we search that, let's see what we get for results. That brought us down to just seven results. That's not a whole ton, but it really did narrow it down a lot. This first article I'm seeing is finger recognition using a wearable device while typing. If I wanted to read this article, I could click on it to get access to the abstract. And over here, I can see I have options of viewing it with an e-reader or viewing it with a PDF. And that is how I find articles in ACM.